Did you know that there is a way to edit thousands of pictures at the same time? It's called Photoroom API and companies like Netflix and Warner Bros are already using it to save up tons of their time editing even up to 3 million it's images. Cool, but Kaya, why would I ever want to edit thousands of images at the same time? Is for people that take way too many selfies? Well, Justin, imagine you are a food delivery company which receives hundreds if not thousands of pictures from restaurants and you want to take them from looking like this to this. Okay, Kai, I get it. But do food apps really think that I'm going to order a pizza because it has a good photo? Well, actually, yes. Good pictures really make a difference. Food delivery company experience 40% higher conversion rates for products that have image versus products that don't have images. Look at Smartly, which achieved 236% increase in average order value thanks to using Photoroom API. 236%? Okay, maybe I do have to step my photo game up. But seriously, isn't this whole API thing like super complicated? Not at all. I don't know much about coding and I'm not an engineer and I did it all by myself and it took me exactly 10 minutes. 10 minutes? What are you, some kind of coding wizard? No wizard here, Justine, is just that easy, I promise. And in this video, I will teach you everything you need to know about Photoroom's API. Sound pretty easy. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. What is API and why does your company need it? So API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it basically lets you automate all your image editing. But in case some of you that are watching are not very technical and you're like, okay, well, fancy name, but what is it actually? Let me explain it to you in a very simple way. API is basically like a TV remote. Instead of getting up from your couch and going all the way to your TV to explain to your TV what it has to do, you use the TV remote, right? And the TV remote is API. You don't get up from your couch, manually load Netflix, connect the servers, you just press the button on your remote and Netflix opens. Simple, right? Similarly, API lets one program talk to another without worrying about the complex process happening behind the scenes. What can API do for you? Well, the first thing that you need to know about API is that it's one of the best productivity hacks that will help you with image editing at scale. It will basically allow your team to save up so much time so they can focus on other more impactful tasks. One of our clients, Goodbye Gear, stays over 80 hours per week and saw conversion rates increase by 23% and average order value by 77% and all thanks to the Photoroom API. Okay, so let's go back to our food delivery example. As a food delivery company, one of your biggest pain points is that on a daily basis, you'll receive thousands of pictures from restaurants looking like this. Let's be honest, a lot of the time the pictures are not very good. With an API, you don't have to manually edit each picture one by one. You can edit them all at the same time. What you can do with Photoroom APIs is that you can remove the background, you can retouch the picture, you can resize them, center them, so all dishes are placed in the exact same spot and they're the exact same size, even if the pictures were taken from different angles, right? And of course, you can also change the background to whatever color you like. In that way, all your pictures will be way more coherent. They'll all look the same. Okay, let's use another example. Let's say you have a furniture company and you have hundreds of pictures of furniture, or your product, lying on your Google Drive. The best thing about Photoroom's API is that you can integrate it to Google Drive or Sheets wherever you like to keep your pictures. So you actually don't have to take your pictures from your Google Drive and upload them to Photoroom to edit. No, you can do it directly on Google Drive. And make sure that you watch this video until the very end because I will show you exactly step by step how you can do it. And trust me, it's super easy. You don't have to know anything about coding. You don't have to be an engineer. I did it by myself. It took me a couple of minutes. It really is super easy. If I can do it, you can do it too, trust me. Do I need a fancy background? Well, the answer is yes. Imagine buying a car. Would you buy a car that looks like this or like this? We are emotional creatures and purchasing is often an emotional process. You're not only thinking about how nice it will be to buy a car, you're thinking about how nice it will be to take your whole family and drive to the countryside and have that experience that the background is selling you. And the best thing about AI backgrounds is basically that there is no limits to what you can create. Like in this case, sky is really not the limit. Whatever you need, AI will create. You just have to describe it. If your product is a car, you might want to have something natural, mountains, forests, 
But if your product is something more crazy, you might want to create, I don't know, pink beach or yellow sky, green marble countertop, whatever you want, API can create it for you. Your job is only to use the right prompts and describe it. Plus our AI backgrounds are based on our own diffusion model, trained ethically on images that we have the right to. Photo room versus competition. Okay, so I might have gotten you interested in API, so maybe now you're thinking, well, API sounds interesting. Shouldn't I check out photo room's competition? Well, all you have to know is this benchmark. If all our competitors are slower and more expensive than us, then can it really be called competition? So who needs Photo Room API? Well, those who take pictures of their product to put them up on their e-commerce website, meaning everybody, because well, nowadays everybody takes pictures of their products and everybody has a e-commerce website, right? A lot of successful companies like DoorDash, Netflix, Smartly are already using Photo Room's API. And if you wanna read about their experience on our blog, I will link a couple of articles in the description of this video. Recently, one of our clients, a very popular sports retailer, just started using Photo Room API and their editing process became four times faster than it used to be with an external agency and their cost per image went down from $7.50 to 10 cents. Can you imagine? It's like 75 times cheaper. How to use Photoroom API. So you wanna test out Photoroom APIs. There are three ways to go about it. One, you can go on our website, I will link it down below and just test it for yourself. And yes, you can test it for free, completely free or you can join our Slack community or contact our sales team directly. They will be more than happy to jump on a quick call with you and explain everything you need to know about API and how it can take your business to the next level. And now it is finally time. Let me show you how to integrate Photo Room API into your Google Drive. So as you can see, I have a bunch of food pictures on my Google Drive. And the first thing that I will do is that I'll create a new folder and I'll need this new folder to save all my pictures without background. So I will just call it food, no background, just to make things easier. And then the next thing you will have to do is go back to new, more, and then Google Apps Script. Here in the left upper corner, you'll see services and a plus, click on plus and add Drive API. You should be able to see it up here under services. Then remove everything you see here and go to the description of this video. And in the description, I will leave a link to this article. This is an article about how to process images from Google Drive. And it basically explains everything step by step. So you can either listen to me explaining it or you can read this article. And also here on the left, you will be able to see that we have a bunch of other useful articles. Down here, you'll be able to find image editing API or remove background API. Today we're removing background, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this whole code and then put it back here. And I know it looks a bit intimidating if you've never dealt with codes before. The first time I saw it, I was like, no, I cannot do this, but it turned out that I could. Okay, the next thing you'll have to do is find your photo room API key. You just have to go on photo room and here in the left corner, you'll see API dashboard and API key. Just copy this and put it back right where it says your API key. Yes, we made it super easy for you. Just remember to remove that very first part, sandbox, gone. Okay, two other things that you need to change. Go back to your drive and copy your drive's ID. This up here at the very end is your drive's ID. First, copy the ID of the drive where all your food picture or your picture of whatever you are editing are located and put it back into your input folder. So remove this and put back your drive ID and then do exact same with the other folder where you want your pictures without background to be saved. So I go back to my food no background folder. I copy the ID from up here and go back to my code and your input folder ID. I remove this and put it here. Okay, and then all you have to do is run, press run. 
okay as you can see it is starting here it found my pictures and now you can go back to your drive and all your pictures with the background removed will appear here it really is that simple I told you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions about Photoroom or API, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and we'll hopefully see you soon. Bye.